What's up, gang? This is going to be another arcade repair vlog. I've got the Donkey Kong slash Donkey Kong Jr. on the floor, as well as the Popeye. And so now we have two more games brought back in the back. This is a, a Drunken Defender. It's missing a leg or two. It's kind of on a, a gangster lean there. Um, this one we've had problems with several times. It, the power's flaky, and... It, sometimes it boots, sometimes it won't, and it always boots to uh, the test menu or something like that. I can't remember exactly what all was wrong with it. But if you follow the channel, um, a few weeks back I had taken some Defender boards out of the parts bin at the warehouse and was fooling with those just to see if I could get, get them working or not. And that's because I was going to pull this one back here and start working on it. So now I'm pretty familiar with um, Defender. I've been working on the Stargate, which is basically the same cabinet. So I'm gonna go through this and get this one rock solid. And I, I'm not even worried about time on this one. I think it's gonna be really fast on that one. Um, then we have the Centipede over here. We actually traded our Centipede, which was a much nicer one. And then we bought this one see i think this is what we traded for so let's see if there's any identifiers should have turned my flash on but it is a uh, cowboys of moo mesa so we're gonna build a cabinet for that because i don't think we can find one uh, but right now i'm gonna yank this monitor which i'm not even sure what it is yet i'm gonna take it back to the house and we're gonna rebuild it cap it whatever it needs and uh, I'll just use my test rig to power it, and that'll be a video by itself. <laughs> but let's uh, let's go out and take a look at the arcade. I'll show you uh, the Donkey Kong and the Popeye, and then we can look at any other. I think we've got a lot of problems solved today, so let's go take a look. This is where the pinballs were that are all back at my house. The Street Fighter II is actually still in the back. That needs to come to my house because that one's actually mine now. Uh, but we have uh, Alien vs. Predators, Rock Solid, same with Frogger. Shadow Dancer is one that uh, I populated an empty cabinet. and Actually, we had that board, but something else was in it. So we got to repopulate it and had the marquee and everything. But I think it was from two different people we ended up getting that stuff from. Over here, we have Turtles and Tron. Got our little turtle guy hanging out over there. Um, the Turtles is fine. This is another one that I built out of an empty cabinet. I'm happy with that. I just, I cannot stand the attract sound and it is just so loud. So I, I need to remember to turn that off actually. Tron's good to go. We had a uh, coin up problem with it, which was just the two uh, Molex connectors that connect the control panel to the wiring harness. It was just loose. So I smashed them together and it's been fine ever since. It's missing the LED or not LED, but the, uh, the fluorescent bulbs or the lights in the uh, fluorescent fixtures and they don't work I've tried new bulbs and so I'm gonna put in LED lights I saw somebody else on YouTube that did it and it looked it looked good enough and we're gonna go that route I haven't bought I just need to put them in and let's look over here I'm trying to stay out of that light over there so, Miss Pac-Man, it's been rock solid. I really haven't done anything with it since I fixed it at the warehouse like last year. Rolling Thunder, I pulled the board to take home tonight. It has lots of lines in the graphics. Uh, so I think it's just a RAM I'm gonna look for and change. Hopefully that's gonna be an easy board repair. That'll be another video on its own. Uh, this is uh, Donkey Kong and Aladdin's Castle, Aladdin's Choice. I need to change the game on this. It's just a 60 and one, so I'm gonna pick something else that we don't have, maybe Burger Time or something. And same with all these, all of these have been worked on. This one all of a sudden needs to be degaussed, so I can fix that. <laughs> I bet you if I turn it 90 degrees, it's absolutely fine, but we can fix that. Just realize that. And these guys are all good. Most of this stuff has been repaired already. Space Invaders is on the list. This one, uh, I've, I've said it before in a couple other videos, it's just the edge connector of the, the PCB. has uh, It's been soldered up a little bit, touched up, because it was kind of burnt up, and there's just too much solder on it. 
and it's not making good connection anymore. All of these guys are good. Yes, this one has an LCD in it because it killed three CRTs. And even though I've checked everything and everything is fine, this, just the fact that three CRTs have <laughs> died mysteriously and I haven't been able to pinpoint anything, I'm not putting another one in there. You keep repeating the same actions, expecting different results. That's the definition of crazy, right? So this one here, I think uh, I want to mess with the purity rings on it. The colors just don't pop right. And the color palette is a little weird on that one too. I'm talking about this uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Just not good enough. I think this one is off too. There's a couple over here that drive me crazy when I walk through. This one's, yeah, see, there's like no red. But you can see red, all kinds of red in the background. This one is just awful. There's a fix for that too, if I'm right. That's another video. <laughs> this guy's having problems here. Uh, first the TV wouldn't come on that was in it. And now it boots and reboots and reboots. So I think it might be a power supply issue with that. I really don't see anything that's serious going on in here, except for this stupid time crisis we can't figure out. But it's not just me. This one, some little kids got in behind it and unplugged a bunch of wiring, including the monitor and the board and I don't know what else. It's good times. Watch your kids, parents. Everything over here has been pretty good. This is one of my favorite monitors. I think it looks great. Even on camera, I should look pretty good. Everything's always a little blue, as I learn. Pretty good. That one seems a little green. <laughs> that is a lot green. We might have to pull that one. Look at the, uh, the geometry is missing. It's really weird. That one's about to go out. <clears throat> I'm getting ready to turn the games off for the night anyway. This one was down as well. Another easy thing. It was just uh, what I do. I pushed in the pushed in a bunch of connectors on it, and then it turned out the oh the power supply was just like just a hair low. So I just turned it up just a little bit and fired up, no problem. But yeah, that's about it for out here. This place is start. We're starting to get caught up over here. The drivers and stuff, uh, we still have the one Fast and Furious that has an issue. And other than that, I think we are, uh, we're good to go out here. Let's take another look in the back. See how fast I can pull this out. If I can do it without cussing. This on a hinge. Yeah. Just dropped a bunch of screws or something. Oh man, that looks nice and clean. <laughs> I think it used to be a joust monitor. What do you guys think? Not even mounted at the bottom. One is finger tightened. Might have. Did we buy this game from Mike? Alright. Well, we are almost already done. Set that there. I'm going to check and see if there are any wires that I need to take off. Looks like it's it. This video and power. Looks too small. So this one will be pretty easy. Still couldn't really tell. I didn't really look close enough to see what kind of monitor it is. 
It's a uh, end col what horizontal collapse or is it, uh, would it be vertical? No, it would be horizontal. It's straight up and down this way. There's actually some burn in on it now. And in all reality, it could be like a video signal or a pot went out or something. It may not be anything that's all that serious. But I haven't worked on this one, so it could be anything. At least I, I don't know ahead of time what we're dealing with other than collapse. As soon as I find out what monitor it is, I can look it up in the uh, flow charts and then I'll have a lot better idea of what it is. Take a closer look at it. And there she is. And right here, this little red guy. See where it says at the top, model number 19K4901. And then from that, you can tell it's a 19 inch K4900. And let's see if there's, sometimes there's another sticker. And I'll show you as I come across them, but I don't see it on this one. But yeah, 4900, the 4600 has the little cards that are stacked in there and the bar that comes across. And the 7000 series, the other one that you see a lot, doesn't have anything on this side wall wise. And it's got the little row of negative caps. But uh, this one's definitely dirty. It needs bath. But stay tuned, I'm gonna fix this one in the next video. And then, see we're already, what is it, Friday? Sunday, I'm gonna try to go live again. I'm gonna keep, try to go live every Sunday because that was pretty easy for me and I enjoyed that. Uh, I'm gonna try to do that every Sunday until football season and then I'll either switch to a different time of day or Saturday or something, we'll get it figured out. But anyway, this is just a quick one, doing a, Arcade Repair Vlog, it's got to be 30 by now, or 31 or 32. And thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next one. So these two right here are going to be ground and 5 volt. So what do we get here? Did I not turn the game on? I didn't turn the game on, I guess that would help. Hang on. Here it is, a nice little trade. The person I traded got what they wanted, I got what I wanted. And a pretty good deal on it too. Why am I gonna get what I want? <laughs> <laughs> that comes later. Yeah. Okay. It's it's, it's on fire. What happened? Whoa. Lots of smoke. Well, that's bad. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> when you take care of people, people take care of you in this community. That's the truth. So everyone, please remember that. Even if we're competitors, we're not enemies.